Hello! So today I want to help you guys, I want to show you how to search console notification of unparsable structured data, parsing error missing a comma or a close bracket. It's not necessary that you're missing a comma or a close bracket, but you are me there is something in the syntax that is causing the issue. And I'm gonna show you how I did sort it. So first thing you need to do guys is to where is the error? The error is here, right? So you say, okay, what's happening here? So they tell you something is going on in this part of the URL. Effectively, they tell you that there is, in this part, there is something that, in the syntax, that is not correct. But that doesn't really help you because it doesn't really tell you where the error is. So you will have to research or ask around um, to find the error. But the second thing that you need to do and follow the steps after clicking on the URL, the second step is to click on learn more. Once you click on learn more, or you can just go yourself or to another tab, but I would just say from here, is to use the structured data data testing tool. Once you get to the structured data testing tool, I want you to copy and paste the URL that you're having the problems with, which is this one. Once you find you, you need to copy and paste this URL here. Oops, that's not going to work. Uh, you need to make sure that it's just the URL that you are using. This is the URL and you will run a test here to validate the code. But it will tell you in which line is the error. It, it, will, it doesn't tell you exactly where, but it will tell you. So before making this video, I did have a JSON, a JSON error. Now you can see I have got zero errors for warnings. What is the error? Okay. I already said with you how I did it. So let's imagine that I still got the error. Yeah, uh, let's say I got it here and it's a JSON error and it was showing me before that it's in line 30. 30. So what I did was to just uh, have a look at the code. I didn't find it. With my eyes, I was really tired. So what I did was asking someone else to spot if there's any comma missing or a quotation mark. If you cannot spot it, just ask around where is the error here, or you just need to have a look around here. So the error was in this line. I didn't have two quotation marks here, two quotation marks, and then a final quotation mark. So it didn't really have after mega. It didn't have a quotation mark here at the beginning. So the third step, and very important that you need to do, is to go to your admin and I, if you click those quotation mark. In my case, I did hack. Um, I did hack. A, um, I did hack a quotation mark here. A double quotation mark here. Travel planner. I did have a quotation mark here, and I did have a quotation mark here as well. So I did wrap around travel planner around quotation mark and that was giving me a, the, the problem, yeah? So what I did was, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of them. Just gonna get rid of them. Like I said, I'm gonna get rid of them. Get to click click. Yeah? You, uh, I would advise also you click on update. But also the, the the critical first step is to use a JSON LD plugin such as Squirly SEO snippet. So the good thing about this plugin is it allows you to find the JSON code at hand. So that means that here in this green box you can edit the code and you can save it and you can validate it from the same window. So what I did, let's say let's imagine I'm doing it all over again. What I did to go when I found the error when somebody told me okay you go double quotation mark because somebody told me where the error was exactly I couldn't really spot it that was at the webmaster central health forum I post the issue and they tell me okay there is a double quotation mark here so when I so there is here in this code this I just deleted I just get got rid of them so in this line here a super mega travel planner I did hack double quotation mark here and it was wrong once so when upon doing this then i save it and then you can then this the next step is to click on validate 
When you click on validate, you will be taken to a window like this. And it will give you the code where the JSON is. Here is exactly where we were supposed to have this, this, uh, mis this uh, validation. Bottom. And you can see there is no errors, there is no warnings. It's all validated. Now it's all into play. After you're doing that, guys, you need to go back to Google Search Console, which is the fifth step. You need to come back here, close this, got it, and you need to click on validate, yeah, which is ar around here. Yeah? You need to, will, it will be around here, validate fix. As I already did it, you can see validation started, notification started today at the time of filming this video, the validation started, and I know this will solve the error quickly and effectively if you use this um, this plugin that I told you. Um, Prevo probably uh, is lesser known than other plugins such as Joe's, but it's really good because it gives you the JSON code account, which other plugins are not giving to you. So instead of going to your editor or to your team code, um, probably, you know, mess up with the team code, then the Squirly SEO plugin will give you the JSON LD. You just need to, you just need to follow what you been told or the error that you have found you need to fix it here it's very important that you fix it here because if you fix it only in the description like i did but you don't fix the json ld code then it's not gonna work so fix the json l code here inside of the green box click on save and then click on validate and you will be taken to this window that i said before so that's all for today guys i hope this video helped you to to fix the unparsable structure data and if there is almost any other type of error or would you like me to do any sort of other video please like and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content coming about content marketing seo digital marketing etc thank you for watching